attention and now this is the week one two and three video for the intermediate class so let's start with the punching skills so attention and bow kicking stance loud yep so we're doing techniques from the boxing and kickboxing set so the first thing is what's called jab cross which you learned in basic class so a quick review on jab my front arm does the jab it goes straight out to the target my fist should be turned flat this way so I can hit with the knuckles. So it's not turned this way and it's not upside down, but this way. When it's done, it's gotta come right back in. So the jab is one of the fastest punches. The idea is you can hit the target so quickly. So when I count, you're gonna jab as fast as you can. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Let's add the cross punch. So the cross is the other hand. So jab goes first, that's straight, and then cross comes next, that's a twist and a turn. So front arm does the jab, twist and turn, rear arm does the cross. Now if you notice, even my heel comes up because my hip is turning into the target, that's how you get lots of power on a cross punch. So if I didn't pivot, you can see it's kind of not so strong, and I can't reach very far, but when I twist and turn, I get a longer reach. If I do it sideways, you can see here's the jab, and then there's my long reach, or if I didn't pivot, so there's always the twist and turns. So let's do a couple slow ones. So jab goes first, that's straight, and then twist and turn. Try it again, jab goes first, twist and turn, there's your cross punch. We breathe on the jab, but we do a loud yell on the cross punch, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. The next one is the hook punch. There's gonna be a front arm hook and a rear arm hook. Each hook, you're gonna notice the heel will come up off the ground. That means my hip is turning. The power is actually gonna come from the, from the legs and from the hips. So my elbow comes up, so it's in position. My, it's almost looks like thumbs up. Of course, I keep it in a fist, but I'm gonna hit those knuckles. My fist is different than normal. And then I'm gonna twist and turn. Let's do the first hook to the jaw, and then the other arm's gonna do a hook but that won't come into the ribs. So it's gonna be one and then two. And notice his heel comes up also. I'm twisting and turning. Twist with your hips, twist with your hips. Let's do a breathe on the first one and then a loud yell on the second one. Ready, set, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And the last move for these uh, first three weeks is the bob and weave. So bob and weave is where we get out of the way. You can imagine someone's trying to hit you in the head with a hook punch. So I'm bobbing and weaving to get out of the way. A couple things to think about, make sure your legs are what bend in the bob and weave. So I don't bend at my waist like this. That's hard on my back and I can't see the bad guy. So if I bend with my knees, it's, it's good on my back because I'm using my legs and I can see the bad guy. Hands gotta stay up. Actually, on a Bible weave, rather than being here, usually you start bringing them closer to your temple so you're covering up your face, especially as you would be putting your head down by their knees, and then uh, just going side to side, just like this. So here we go, ready, one. We go one way, two, the other way. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So essentially we've learned jab, cross, hook, hook, bob and weave, bob and weave. That's the material for week one, two, and three. So roundhouse kicks this cycle. Here's a good round, uh, good warm up for roundhouse kicks, especially for grown-ups, make sure you uh, warm up your lower back. And for kids, just get muscle memory and repetition. So you start on your hands and knees. My leg is gonna point straight sideways. The knee stays exactly still. Only my foot moves. So it's kind of like, uh, almost to me, it looks like a door on a hinge. Uh, it's different than a side kick. Last cycle we did side kicks where we said your knee is supposed to go in and out. Now your knee never moves. So let's go this way, warm up. So here we go, one, warm it up, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Other leg, same thing. Point it straight sideways, only move your foot. Ready, one, knee hold still. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Other leg, just warm it up. This time I want you to think about point your toes as far as you can, reach as far as you possibly can. The, the top of the foot's called instep. You're supposed to hit with your instep, so if we reach really far, your hips will be in a good position. You get a nice long roundhouse kick. One, reach, 
two of reach. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Other leg, ready? One, reach, two, reach, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, round three, last warm up. So from my guard stance, I want you to stand real sideways. This time, make your leg flat like a tabletop. So I'll kick kind of this way so you can kind of see the three dimensions of it rather than me kicking right at the, at the camera. But anyway, so I turn a little bit sideways, make a flat tabletop, then everything is like what we just did on the ground. Ready, set, one, two, make a tabletop, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's try the other side. Here we go. Turn a little bit sideways so your hip is facing at the target. Make that flat tabletop. Ready? One. Tabletop. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Awesome. Attention to that. Let's have Mr. Lemke be my partner. He's going to hold on to a speed paper. There's two kicks we're learning new this cycle, right, for the weeks one, two, three. Stepping roundhouse kick and lunge roundhouse kick. So let's see, Mr. Lemke is my partner. Let's see if you kind of start kind of far back in this one. So the first one is called stepping. So that means if I'm in my guard stance, the leg that's in the back takes a whole step forward like I'm walking. Then my rear leg's got to pivot, 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 pivot and then do a kick. The important thing is the pivot. You gotta pivot on the ball of your foot. So if I imagine, if I do a slow motion, it's like take a whole step, pivot until this hip starts to look at the target, then make a tabletop, and then do a kick. So here's regular speed. It's a step, a pivot, and a roundhouse kick. I'll do five with each leg, then you can do more on your own. So one, step in, roundhouse kick. Two, step in, roundhouse kick. Probably needs to be higher. Okay, three, step in, roundhouse kick. Four, step in, roundhouse kick. One more time, five. Let's try the other leg. So now the right leg's in front, take a whole step, pivot, 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 make a tabletop, do the kick. Here we go, ready, get set, one, step, pivot, roundhouse kick. Two, step, pivot, roundhouse kick. Always have good balance, three. Four, and one more, five. I, say, I think that went up when I walked back. I think that target went up. So anyway, uh, now you should pause the video. You should do 10 with each leg. Now start kind of low, don't start too high, just so you don't slip on the banana peel, lose your balance, okay? So the second kick is called lunge roundhouse kick. So now you've got the target up. You're gonna pick your front foot off, off the floor just the teeniest bit because you only push off of your rear leg. So I start to pick this leg up, push off of one leg, and lunge. This one is not gonna go real far, and it might not even go real high. The idea of the lunge around on this kick is kind of sneak in where they can't ever see him. A lot of times it's to the body, so, so I pick this foot up just the tedious bit, and I push off of only one leg, and lunge and kick. So let's do something together, ready? One, pick it up in, lunge, try to be sneaky. Two, three, four, pick it up in, lunge one more time, five, let's try the other leg. So right leg's in front now, kicked off the ground just the teeniest bit because I'm only pushing off of one leg that kind of glide across the floor going forward. Ready, and one, pick it up, and lunge, two, pick it up, and lunge, three, Four, one more time, five, just like that, awesome, attention. Now we can get rid of that, but we will be ready for self-defense. So pause that video, do 10, a 10 lunge round kicks with the left leg and 10 with the right leg. Okay, self-defense, Mr. Limp, is the bad guy. Look happy, look like the attacker. Grr, okay, good. So he's got me in the bear hug, okay? So in the bear hug, I use my words, stop, let go, leave me alone. I can stomp on his foot, so stomp hard as you could. You can use your hand and do a hammer fist into the groin, maybe an elbow into the ribs, 
Maybe your heel comes straight up. To me, this looks like an elevator going to the top floor of the building. Bing, kind of like that. He's probably distracted. Hands like this, I'm gonna drop down in a horse stance as my elbows come up. It just loosens it up. He might have his arms still there. That might be possible. And then you start hitting with elbow strikes. Ribs, ribs, hard as you can. Step away, kick into his knee, and run. It's really difficult if I drop my whole body weight. It's hard for him to hold me up. Even for a kid, if a kid drops all their body weight, it makes it real difficult, especially after this, and this, and this, all those kinds of distractions, okay? Let's try it together. Someone's got you in a bear hug. We say, stop, let go, leave me alone. Stomp the foot, kick into the knee, heel to the groin, bing, kind of like that. Elbow strikes, hammer fist, any kind of distractions. Hands together, drop down to a horse stance. Elbows come up, step, loosened it up. Elbow strikes, elbow strikes, side kick, run. That's pretty close. Okay, one more time, here we go. See if mom and dad will take you, probably not your brother. That seems like a bad idea. Okay, so stop, let go, leave me alone. Stomps, kick the knee, hammer fist. Uh, which one do I miss? Heel to the groin, elbow strikes. One, two, elbow strikes, elbow strikes, side kick, run. Awesome, so this one is the leverage principle part two. That's the first leverage. Second leverage, he's giving me a front choke. Have your mom or dad help you with this one, not your brother. Okay, so if he's really choking me, now just so you know, in real life, when people actually try to choke someone, it's less about strangling someone, it's more about dominating someone. That's how law enforcement teaches it. So, um, so that's the good and bad news. So the good news is, if you tuck your chin as hard as you can, you can actually breathe for quite a long time because his real intent is more to try to control you. So I'm gonna tuck my chin down hard as I can, do some distractions. You can do knee in the groin hard as you can, it's right there. You can do finger jab in the eye. You can either go from the outside or right up in the middle. You might be able to do power slap to the ear. And so it depends on the height of your partner, you, you'll find whatever the target is. So uh, chin down, distract, distract, distract. I'm gonna reach over top and grab the meaty part of his thumb. I'm trying to peel it off like this. If I get that meaty part, see his thumb is holding on and four fingers. I can either try, try to pry four fingers off or just the meaty part. So just grab that meaty part and start twisting it off. At the same time, my other arm is gonna go as high as it can over the top. I mean, really, really what I'm doing is I'm turning my whole hip. That's how I'm gonna get power. It feels like to me, like when you're at the, uh, at the rock concert. So chin down. Distract, distract, distract. Reach over, starting to strip the thumb. Other hand as high as possible, all the way over. Now if it comes off, awesome. If it doesn't, you know, drive down with your elbow. Banana blender skills, palm strikes, knee strikes, elbow strikes, drop elbow strikes, side kicks to the knee, and then run. Okay, let's try again, he's got it. So there's probably not a verbalization. It'd be hard to, yeah, it doesn't come out. So don't worry about verbalizing it. Chin down. Distract, distract, distract. Grab the meaty part. Over the top, twist your whole body. I'm using my shoulder and everything. Drop down if you need to. There's your palm strikes. There's your elbow strikes. There's your knee strikes. Elbow strike. And side kick. Last time, ready, set, here we go. Chin down, distract, 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 distract. Strip it off. Right, right, bring it down if you need to. Palm strikes, elbow strikes. Knee strikes, elbow strikes, Ayah! run. Awesome, thanks Mr. Lemke. That's enough punishment for today. Okay, here we go. Last thing, bow, horse riding stance with the yell. Hand in front for karate punch, ready, set. One, Ayah! two, Ayah! three, Ayah! four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Attention, and bow. And that is all the material for weeks one, two, and three.